Welcome to Gold Squadron Paint Wars, a painting competition that gives three painters the same model, theme, and two weeks to give us their best work, whose technique, artistic choices, and most importantly, execution of today's theme will earn them a Paint Wars Champion Medal. Hello everybody, my name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Lemu Galactic Championship Qualifier. Welcome, and thanks for joining us today. If you're watching live, it is time. We're going to be choosing your champion here very soon, but before we do that, let's do our intros. Oh my goodness, they're, they're about to get into it. Uh, Will, say hi! Joined by William Hagwood on Carol Commentary. <laughs> James, still gone, I think. That's all right. James, say hi. Hi, I'm here. All right. Well, James, if Will's not back, I think you're gonna have to do the uh, the list breakdown. Do it quick. I mean, there's not that really that many variations of ship here, but it's time to choose your champion. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. On the left, we have Ethan Williams flying Zamgo, flying uh, the Separatist Alliance with Django Fett and the Fire Spray, with Treacherous Count Dooku. Thermal detonators and false transponder codes and the Triggy hole upgrade. He also has his uh, ever endearing partner, Zam Wessel, with mm -hmm. treacherous thermal detonators, trans false transponder codes, and hole upgrade. Uh, so both these ships have the same exact configuration, except Django has Count Dooku. And sure. then what's on the other side, Will? On the other side, we got Connor Holmes uh, with. One, two, three, four, five, six, Baron of the Empire. Uh, all of them with Disciplined, uh, the new uh, faction talent for the Empire, allowing them to receive a target lock or bear roll action after a friendly ship is destroyed at range zero to three. Uh, we have a variety of munitions. Two of them will have tracers. That's our red and yellow. Uh, the other four will have the five dice Roton rocket uh, that is uh, range one to two. And those combined together uh, can be an extremely uh, big punch um, early in the games and can wildly swing the favor into the Baron's um, favor. I don't, mm -hmm. know, I, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> well, uh, so that, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. It's going to be up to the the fire sprays to avoid that bullseye. Um, but they are uh, prone to being blocked here. Uh, the barons have both the linked uh, focus uh, linked barrel and focus linked boost. Um, giving them a wide variety of positions to end up in. Yeah, this is this is going to be an interesting matchup. We have these two fire sprays that usually when they face against a swarm, they don't like going head to head. And you know, Connor's absolutely hitting the gas. You know, deciding like, you know what, my best opportunity is to try to catch one of these uh, fire sprays early and see if he can get it caught off guard. Uh, makes sense to me. Uh, the, uh, um, like I said, that forward punch of those proton rockets uh, could uh, take out a whole fire spray uh, if they line them up correctly. Unlikely to happen, but, uh, who, well, which one are they chasing down, by the way? They're chasing uh, down Django Fett. Yeah, that is Django. Uh, Django, who's there at the top of the board. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, Django can uh, step on the gas here and start using some some back arc shenanigans. I mean, that's going to be the strategy that I think Ethan's going to lean into here. And But our audience right now uh, is leaning pretty heavily into the Tyvee ones. By the way, I wouldn't wait too much longer to uh, to vote here because as soon as we – we likely next turn, we're going to be closing those bets. Don't be on the outside looking in. Uh, you know, sad that you missed your bet. So go ahead, get your bets in now. And here we go. Connor continuing to pressure here. 
deciding that, you know what, I'm going I'm to come to your side of the board. Let's go. It's much easier to fly your ships on your opponent's side of the board in uh, on TTS than it is in person. <laughs> Very much so. Saves your back. We see, we see some early locks here uh, from the back row, assuming that Jengo is going to do that four forward boost mm -hmm. to get out of there. I mean, it's a, wait a second, why waste the... The tracer missile. Let's just get the guarantee now, because I don't think that he's just he's just straight looking at Ethan and saying, "I don't believe you." <laughs> yeah, you ain't, you ain't staying around. Whatever. I mean, hey, uh, they can't kill all of them, right? This is very true. And oh, look at this. So you have this yellow Tyve one trying to get in the way, possibly throwing a block. Oh, which which kind is yellow? Yellow is a tracer. Mm hmm. Oh, two of them going that way. I'm. I'm a little bit surprised by that, to be completely honest. To see green boost, I thought it was going to try to barrel roll. Because then you might have had bullseye if uh, if you do get the block. But maybe anticipating Django booping past. Here's Zam, one bank to the right. Is Zam going to boost in here to help out? Can you wiggle through that lane good enough? Or do you have to go all the way around those two debris? Mm. Tough choice. Uh, could you let him know about false transponder codes, James? That should have gone off on uh, Django there. That yeah, would have been on red, red's lock. Mm hmm. All right. And there we go. We got that fixed. Let's find out what Django's doing. Uh, Zam still is deciding on that booster. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Zam. Could lock. I mean, you have like two dice guns coming in through a gas cloud. All right, and is going to do it. He's leaning for the boost. And oh, he's for it. All right, wants to get aggressive. Yeah, he might have been thinking about the false transponder codes of his own to try to stop uh, this proton rocket from green. And right there, you have Django popping over. And is, is the bullseye on there? It is not for green. And blue, I don't think so either. No. No, that's... Yeah, at the, at the, the yellow is the tracer one. Right. He's in the night. He's in a nice pocket right now. Ooh, man. But he's also taking shots from red and pink. And this is true. So boosting to the left. I still, I think boosting to the left also clears you. I don't think that puts you in the bullseye either. I think you get past. Ooh, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Um, because, no, because you. You gotta think like, yeah, you have to bank maybe boost it, towards yeah. Zam. Ah, uh, yeah. mm, I was envisioning it incorrect. I think I was angling it too much in my mind. Yeah, well, yeah, because it, because it's a medium base, it starts closer to the middle of base. So it's it's not as a sharp of a boost as a small base is. You know, boost out. No, thinking, thinking about the boost in. Ooh, he's, he's considering a reinforce. The only one that would not work against would be green. All right, well, I have saved the game state. Oh, we, we can we can do a little little GSB si side bet here uh, at the end of the game. Some funsies there. Could also be considering a boost to get a better position for bombing as well. Oh, Did the boost man. to the left? We were both wrong. I think it's it, oh, that's really it, close. Yeah. Is he I out of the bullseye? Out. Yeah. He Vindication. Is. Wow. Oh, give wow. my points. Nom 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 nom. 
All right, Django. Oh, we, we have a dice box. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Two crits. Uh, do good. Save it for defense, maybe. You're in a few arcs. Ooh, going offensive here. Getting aggressive, and that Ty V1 going to be able to shake it off if he wants to spend the focus. All right, there's the Tracer Carrier. Might just take the shield. Mm -hmm. Sure does. All right, one shield down on Connor Holmes' yellow Ty V1. Connor Holmes bringing the Skittles to play today. Here comes Zam. Uh, yeah, Zam boosted no no mods there. One crit to one evade, no problem. And here we go. We're gonna try to set up that tracer missile. No, I just go on primary. Oh, it's just a primary. Then why even? Save the focus? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it was a tracer. Now he, he did flip the charge. Okay, got it. And that is going to hit. So we'll set up locks for green, yellow, and blue. Yeah, red probably out of range there. So we're and checking now. So now we'll find lock. out for sure. And that is no bullseye. We are wow. safe there, but does have a fully modified shot here if he wants it. He's going to do it. Spends a lock. Blank to blank conversion, though. Spends for two for hit crit. All right, two shields down. All right, starting early. Hit him early, hit him often. Pew, pew, pew. Two hits. And going to squeak another one through. Three shields down, and the rest are going to be out. Yeah, those uh, those locks are gonna put a lot of pressure on uh, Django to get out of there. Let's go, Daddle. All right, and uh, we got we got a question in the chat here that I want you to help me answer. Will we got a, okay. a question from? Let me go ahead and read who was from. I think it was I am that Dave. I am that Dave. Asked Dion, will you jump back into streaming live events once we get back to that? Hmm. What do you think, Will? Uh, uh, we want to. We have the Lone Star Open uh, being held outside of Dallas, Texas. Coming up on July 23rd, uh, I will be traveling down and streaming on Gold Squadron's uh, Twitch channel. So you can check us out there for the first major live event of the year. Um, sounds like we're uh, the roster of players is getting bigger and bigger, and there's some real serious names on that list um, who are coming back in. A lot of names that you don't see for online play who are uh, real, um, what do I want to say, adamant about getting back to the real table and playing in person X-Wing. So, uh, yes, very much so. We want to be getting back into... Uh, real life X Wing is the bread and butter of Gold Squadron getting uh, the community together uh, for these big events. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't be there because I have my, uh, my graduate school graduation that same weekend. And I've been working really hard, and I, I love you guys, but I'm going to go to my graduation. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dion, you deserve it for sure. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, my family is actually here in town. Um, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to have my, have my daughter see me graduate from graduate school. I know it seems kind of cheesy, but so that we'll be doing that. We also have, we've already, we're already on the books to be at LVO. I know that's like a big 
stretch after that. That's in January. But we've actually been reached out to by a couple of events happening. Uh, I know one's in October. I think another one's in September. So we're going to see what we can end up doing. As of right now, I'm not committing to anything right now because I don't have the mental capacity at the moment. I just don't have it. So once once we get past uh, past July, essentially, we'll we'll figure we'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, we, we'll be going down there. We are going to try for the first time having a uh, a remote. We're a, a remote since we've we've done it now, right? So uh, James out, out in the UK right now doing our remote, uh, you know, extra commentary, but also um, on the stats and stuff. All right. So I am here. Yeah, available yeah, for what you need. Exactly. So he's going to be helping out Will there. As for other other commentary stuff for right now, um, we got to we got to talk about that as a team and, and figure all that out because there's there's lots lots of stuff, lots of things to consider, especially with you know uh, COVID regulations and all that, and we need to be respectful of uh, you know of the rules. And uh, and how and just make sure people are comfortable because this is going to be a slow transition getting back into uh, into in person play. Right. Yeah. And it's uh, um, it's one thing to be like you know uh, in your local town at the same gas station you go to every day or something like that. Now we're in a mask. Mm. Um, but when you have people from all over the country and from internationally traveling as well, uh, meeting up. Not a great place uh, to risk it. Uh, so um, there is heavy regulations uh, for the tournament as far as uh, personal protection and uh, social distancing when available. So it should be very safe. No one, no one wants that. Uh, um, uh, anything bad to happen. That's right. So here we go. We got our system phase. We're dropping a thermal detonator. I'm surprised we're not getting both. Why are we getting both? Why just one? I they guess we, hard. maybe they got hard turn boost. That's true. That's true. He can get away. Uh, yellow might have gotten away. He's going to ride off into the sunset here. Job done. Tracer hit. <laughs> Don't need to hang out anymore. Ooh, I like this column here. Look at where those bullseyes are. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is a threat. And you got green in there blocking off the lane. So if Django did not go straight, it's going to be a sad day. Zam, Audi. Say, no, no, no. I, saw, no, no, I no, foresaw no. this. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Does roll Probably the crit. Takes it. One out of eight chance. It does come up sometimes. I like the move, though. And here's the four straight. Ethan playing a good game here. Yep, this is just what fire sprays do. They want rear arc shots. They want you to follow them so that they can drop bombs while attacking. He can just, he can just focus here. He's not in any of the bullseyes. And the ones I mean, that he, he he is in, they're at range three. So you're fine. You're not taking any pockets. He's scooping up the target lock. Going to let Dooku do some work there as well. And we are getting one of the thermal detonators to hit the yellow TIE V1. Here's the roll. Thermal detonators require you to roll one die. You take the damage rolled. In a, on a focus result, you do take a strain token. Pretty solid. You get four charges on those thermal detonators. Next, we got a range one shot going into the green tie V1. Has a target lock and the force for Dooku. Ooh, decisions here. Is he going to save Dooku for defense? You can see the back and forth oh, it's, there. Spend it's it's been the lock. Save your defensive modifier. Oh, no, he's, not, he's not entirely sure. There it is. Spending the lock. Got it. it All four. Out. 
and going to be getting three out of the four damage needed to take this thing down. It's down to one hull. Yep, that's points on the board. Yeah, with only two shots, it will be hard to push damage through on these uh, V-Wings, assumingly. Zam going to try to finish off that green tie V1. It would be huge if we can get the initiative kill here. You got two eyeballs Sam out there that. with a the crit. Sam rolled that exact thing, same thing last round. Whenever I see that, like the two eyeballs and the crit, I always think of, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that seems really silly. Okay. <laughs> oh! Oh. Blank out, well, uh, and that oh. green tie V1 is taken off the board. Absolutely massive. We're going to get a discipline trigger here, but man. Sure will. will we see barrel rolls from the uh, the rear line there? We might. Let's see. Maybe from pink. But it seems like he likes to hold them in a formation. Oh, no. Never mind. There, <laughs> there we well, go. Just barrel rolled the whole formation. <clears throat> Voice cutting out. Now, what that barrel roll gives you, it looks like it's maybe one additional shot by pink barrel rolling to the left and a better approach vector as well. Yeah, I'm surprised Orange didn't take it as well. <laughs> one hit, got the target lock, turns it to two. Do note that the barrel roll there did make the shot obstructed, I believe. Sure did. Uh, Django saved the force. We're gonna for this occasion. Yep, gonna work out here and end up with no damage by spending the force. Just barely range three for blue shot. One hit, spend the lock, roll it again, hit crit. Death by a thousand cuts. Hit crit. And that crit, I think, is going into yeah. the hole unless he can trigger treacherous. Which one was that one? That was blue. He that killed that blue. ship. Oh, it's a panic pilot. Get him. Really? Panic pilot. Oh, that's... I hit the wrong button. Sorry, guys. <laughs> panic pilot. Let's try that again. There it is. That's pretty bad for Django. <laughs> mm, it's not good. Uh, and we your, your only option is one bank, and you still can't boost then, which means those are going to be in pursuit. But we got we triggered. You should thank me here. You you should thank me. End of the engagement phase. He's in an arc and not getting shot by. Did not get shot by anybody. The card is face down. So spending two charges to get a bonus attack and firing in on blue, the one that delivered that crit. Yeah, a little payback here. But that's going to be a range three obstructed shot with blue still having a focus token. Is that worth it? It seems like he feels like he might be playing a little bit from behind, trying to get aggressive. Hit crit. And no damage there. I could see why. Um, with the limited amount of firepower and the amount of uh, that the two fire sprays have. Granted, they, they did just kill one round of ship, so mm -hmm. good on them. But that's not going to happen every time. Mm -mm. Right? Uh, and with the, the limited amount of modifications uh, the fire sprays have, especially if they're trying to keep mobile, boosting a lot... Uh, to dodge arcs, things like that. Um, uh, you, you've got to know that uh, you need to take out a couple of these barons, at least three of them, right? So then hopefully you have a full fire spray um, at the end uh, mm -hmm. to fight the rest of them. Agreed. Green is not a great spot, or not green, uh, Green, green's off the board, so also not a great spot. 
I meant blue, though. <laughs> blue is not in a great spot. Uh, Greg calling it a thermal apocalypse about to happen. <laughs> and I could see it. Uh, drop everything, right? Like, Zam's taking damage. Yeah. Uh, Django's taking damage. Zam did take damage on the asteroid, but that's a different case entirely. And while we wait for this planning phase, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our faction breakdowns. Uh, we had a total, let's talk about just in the event, we had 21 Separatist lists, 12 Republic, 12 Rebel, 26 Scum, 14 Empire, 12 Resistance, and 18 First Order. So good representation across most factions here. You got a three-way tie for the bottom with Republic, Rebels, and Resistance. Then into the top cut, we had three Separatists, two Republic, two Re Rebels, three Scum, three Empire, two Resistance, and one First Order. So everybody does make it into the top 16. Uh, but right now, our top 16, uh, sorry, our top four consists of all three of those Scum lists and, uh, oh, sorry, two of those Scum lists, one Republic list, and this Separatist list. Which some argue is just a scum list. But you know what? That's not what the box says. That's not what the cards say, Will. Uh, yeah, sure. It's got bounty hunters and fire spirits. I'm sure it's a CIS, of course. <laughs> what else? I mean, it does have Dooku. Dooku did lead the Separatist for a mm -hmm. long time, so I'll give him that. Thematic, you see? It is thematic. I'll give him that. <laughs> he did hire the bounty hunters. It's okay. Uh, so no bombs from Zam makes sense, um, but it does open up blue to like hard three boost. <laughs> the fly in the mighty, the mighty said the dialogue that I was thinking. <laughs> he says, "says I mean we should give FFG props for finding a way to sell us two more fire sprays per player." True. <laughs> Very true. All right. I haven't pulled the trigger on him. Ugh, I don't want I don't want more fire sprays. I'm over it. <laughs> Deal. You over it? Well, I I'm wonder are, some people might just buy one pack. Are the here's the question is the cardboard configuration. Are Zam and Django on the same side? Like are the, if they're on one piece of cardboard then you can't just do it with one pack. But if they're on different pieces of cardboard, then you can. You could just buy one, use your scum fire spray, and then use your fire your scum dial. And I mean, if you're proxying a scum dial, you might as well proxy a, the base plate, right? Yep. Like, that's not a big deal. Oh, he didn't hard three. Well, you have to barrel roll now, or is he going to try to shoot that procket? Through the debris cloud on the one banking Django. That's a risk. I love it. Uh, don't like it if Django goes fast. I'm going to reach out for a target lock here with Zam. Thinking about the possibilities here. Likely thinking about where Django is going to go. Because you want these fire sprays to focus fire on a single ship. Alright, going to the range 2 pink TIE V1. That's going to be a false transponder codes. I think that's where Django is going to land. Uh, probably a three bank here uh, to stop that per rocket from coming in. We got the jam. Oh, okay. Oh, two straight. Two straight. Heading towards that board edge. And that thermal detonator is again going to go ahead and hit two of them. Oh, we got Dooku. Oh yeah, you see you see the bubble right there. 
That's a crit. <laughs> you could yeah. you could hear it Lee, now. You just take a crit. If you don't know what we're talking about there, we're talking about Dooku Crew. James, if you can go ahead and toss that up there. Paraphrase. Essentially what it says is that uh, when in, when a ship rolls dice, you can choose to spend the force to choose a result. And if they don't roll that result, it goes to that. And that's any time dice are rolled, whether that's for a crit card, um, a bomb, attacking, or defending. And it can be your ship or an enemy ship. Yeah, as it does look like he had uh, used it to call out that crit on the thermal detonator. And you see that it's taking a shield off of blue. I believe that the dice rolled was for yellow, who was not in uh, Dukeable range. <laughs> I don't know if Dukeable <laughs> is a word, but it is today. And here's our first shot. Oh, was that was that Django's ability that just got used? Yeah, did Blue do a white maneuver? Yes, he three banked. That was a Dooku well, to take the other shield. I was going to make a bold statement long ago about how these barons normally do blue maneuvers so we won't see Django used effectively. Turns out, very effective. Here's hit crit. Oh, hit crit crit. And one of those crits are going through. And it is a blinded pilot on the pink TIE V1. Uh, that's yeah. okay. Pink didn't have any mods anyways after that false transponder codes. All right. One crit. Going to be safe. Going into Django now from range three. Single crit. Spent the lock you picked up a while ago. Safe. Got one. It was a little bit, little bit scary rolls. <laughs> seeing double yeah, blanks there, the, but they've been enough. Yeah, seeing seeing the crits, but this should be fine. One hit and safe. Yeah, without the ability to get. Oh, do we got? I think we got one last shot from Red here. Debating the tracer, I believe. Might as well. Went with the primary. Two dice, oh. one crit. And got the squiggle. Man, uh, the chat log of just one crit, one evade, one crit, one evade, one hit, one evade, <laughs> one crit, one evade <laughs> is probably infuriating uh, to the TIE V1s. Uh, but without those prockets, you know, uh... And the fire sprays wanting to keep the distance, not wanting to get into those range one knife fights. Uh, they really are uh, shooting lackluster attacks here. One of the other things I wanted to point out is that TIE V1, the blue one, has got to watch out. If you clip that debris and you're in within range two, Dooku's going to say, that's a crit. <laughs> oh, oh! You're getting Duke good for sure. Yeah, guaranteed. And that uh, that blue one has already taken one shield damage, so that would be half point scored. Current score fifty one to zero. Ethan has done a good job of forcing it so that Connor has not had all shots on a single fire spray this turn, which I'm sure is his goal, right? You're kind of halfway, like uh, hurting them into a corner and trying to make it so that all your ships have arc on uh, on one of those fire sprays. Mm -hmm. uh, Blue actually lost uh, damage to, or excuse me, lost a shield to the Dooku Thermal and then one to Django's shot. So that, that crit's going under the shield. Oh, you're right. Sorry. The shield's still on the overlay. My bad. So yeah, shields are that down counts. on the Baron. 
Uh, yeah, um, I'm surprised about how much damage uh, Jingo uh, and Zam have been able to put out in the la these last two rounds, uh, while basically being running away from the fight. I know that's the strategy that they like, but uh, I'm surprised to be surprised to see it so effectively against these three agility ships. All right. Want to remind everybody that this round and our all of our rounds this weekend have been brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code GSP2021 for 15% off. I know that Andrew, I believe, is going to be at the Lone Star Open. Um, you might be able to, if you ask nicely, avoid shipping charges by uh, messaging him and saying, Hey, can we just, uh, can you just bring it to Lone Star? He might be able to mule it over for you. <laughs> so go ahead, reach out, let them know that Gold Squadron sent you, and uh, yeah, get your get your core paw, get your get your curl paw order in. One cool thing I know that Andrew is uh, is involved with right now, uh, friend of the community, uh, Wade Pache is currently in the middle of designing a game called Aerodome after a uh, comic book series that he's creating. And <laughs> and I know that Curled Paul is the one that is making the pieces for the game. And I'm planning on uh we had talked to Wade about it and once once he's ready to go, we're going to do some do some demos here on the channel. Should be cool. And Apostase is asking, will the code be valid on Tuesday? Actually, guess what, Will? Uh, yes. It will be good on Tuesday. What? What? That's right. I know that, that sounds crazy, but it'll be good on Tuesday. And remember, all of our sponsors do custom work as well if you just get in contact with them let them know gsp sent you uh but all you know all of them they do they do amazing work and uh, if you want something for your event your group go ahead and uh call them up And we are dropping two thermals. We saw both charges get flipped there by Django. Here they come. If, if you're not going to hit the debris, you're going to get hit by the thermal detonators. Yeah, I think the Baron's really fallen into the trap here. You mentioned the early aggression mm -hmm. um, to try to pin down one of the fire sprays. Um, but not today. They're able to slip away, get into these amazing bowing positions. Look at this. Ooh, you might end up b blocking Django into its own bomb. But, I mean, are you going to Dooku that, right? Yeah, he Dooku did. He sure did. Call the crit there. We'll find out what the crit is. Let's see. Blue stabilizer. Uh, that ship might die. I... Think he lands a two straight on the board? Hope. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean that's, it's close. Uh, I think that's so the only maneuver he could dial in. So we'll see you next turn if he's I think, still there. I think the nubs might be off. It's too straight. But well, I mean, he he's has also to gotta survive some thermals too. So this is true. Might not be an issue. Also, if uh, Django one bank boosts. Um, taking another barrel roll. Didn't link it though. Not anticipating being shot. Or shooting the the proton rocket, right? Seems very important. True that. One, sh not one straight, two straight. Yeah. 
And going to get a barrel roll here as well. Trying to lock down Django this turn. Django's already at six hull. Here comes Orange. Remember, with that hull upgrade, it does require uh, a total of six damage in order to uh, to do that half points. Right now, you got five. We need one more. Zam, banking one to the left after leaving those thermal detonators behind. What's the play here? Welcome, welcome to the soul. Welcome to the 389 people joining us on this beautiful Sunday morning slash afternoon or evening, wherever you are. You are watching the Lemu Galactic Championship Qualifier. This is the third of eight qualifiers happening throughout the year here, uh, run by Gold Squadron for our global ending championship, the Galactic Championship. It is uh, our online premiere event series. Goes on throughout the year. You got several qualifiers and ending in a culminating event. Now, somebody had asked earlier, are you guys going to keep doing in-person events? And the answer is yes, but also, I don't... Oh, okay. Django, sweeping in here. I don't want our our online fans to think that we're alienating them because we will continue to do TTS events. We know that they will, there's a chance they might be a little bit smaller um, because you know, there's going to be more stuff going on, but uh, we will still be running them because one, one of the, the things that it has done is it has made X wing more accessible to people who, and competitive X wing uh, as well, accessible to people who don't, who aren't, who don't have access to travel. You know, it's, it's, not everybody has that same uh, financial, you know, ability. And I 100% understand that. And uh, that's why we're going to be here for you, providing you with this opportunity to play here on Gold Squadron. All right. Django scooting up. So looks like the yeah. bombs are not going to hit anybody. There's a possibility of that. Oh, no. Just barely clipping blue. Dooku already got used. Takes another damage and just, is taken off the board before it gets an opportunity to shoot. Yeah, I have... Uh... No, I... no, he's just dead. I don't understand. Oh, discipline. He's discipline triggering. Aha. Yep, that would be everybody. I think yellow already barrel rolled. I think that's what the marker was out, is like, what ships have barrel rolled already? Yeah. Is that... Yeah, that that's what he said. Okay. I was yeah. I was questioning, I was like, what is those markers? What possibly could those markers be? Uh, I don't think Pink's going to live, though. I'm surprised that... I still understand why Pink didn't link it here. Especially at uh, one I health. Think, I think he wanted to be able to uh, do a, long, a fast bank. Potentially. Well, he's not going to survive to get to there, so... And then that one is blinded, so he said uh, he just didn't want to... He, he didn't think he needed the focus. Oh, uh, well, he's got two shots on him, so... He's going to need it. <laughs> we're going to get another damage. These thermals are consistent. Should be the first damage on red. No, that oh, was an yeah. eyeball. That was an eye. Yeah. It was just a it was an eye. Was it just when it was placed on a hit? No, it, there was. It was rolled. It says no, one. He rolled it outside the box. Aha! You're right. The box. <laughs> well, here's Django. Range one. One hit. One crit. So, see if he had the focus, at least he would be able to not die. Right. I don't know if uh, Zam has a, another shot. Does not. All 
right, that looks like yellow does not have a shot. And looks like we are back to the planning phase. Now, I, I do want to remind our audience that according to the Choose Your Champion voting, our audience gave a 76% advantage to the Ty V1s in this matchup. 76%, Will. Yeah, I mean, that's who I voted for, but I, I have, like, zero GSP credits for good reason. <laughs> that I, I think I bet consistently wrong all the time. Um, I thought the uh, the three agility would hold out against uh, the uh, the two oh, fire sprays. He hasn't got a single brocket off, and now yes. he, has he only has one left. Yeah, and that that's a big problem um, with it. And he, I do think that he got a little over aggressive in the beginning. Um, I've been there myself. Uh, very frustrating. Uh, to realize too late that you got caught following fire sprays. Yeah, and it's not like you can just like, I mean, you can just like disengage and wait to come around, you know. But mm -hmm. it's uh, it, it's rough. Not not a fan of playing against fire sprays. Fire sprays. Because they they just like they just like set a dial and it's like oh I'll figure it out later. Well, uh, I mean, they're running out of board space now. They're going to have to turn in at some point here. Uh, but yeah, uh, they have done a great job prioritizing those pocket carriers over the tracer missiles. Hmm. Yeah, I mean they got they got the target locks early. I think I think James, you've identified one of the big things is Connor was really leaning into those prockets, and he did have the bullseye spread out. But it's the one chance where it could have happened, where it's in between that gas cloud and the debris. It just was just a bit wide. You could have really, you probably would have brought Django down to maybe two hole with a big shot like that. And uh, just didn't happen. Didn't happen. Yeah. Ethan dialing in the, the moves you needed. And, of course, like you noted, has the boost action and is going in a direction where there's open space. Yeah, and when he got the panic pilot, he was perfectly set up to do a two straight and a one bank. Yeah. And and he wasn't able to capitalize on that because of uh, thermal detonators, which I think if they didn't have thermal detonators, this would be like if, if they were – I say if they were more expensive, but like his his list comes in at one eighty nine, so cool. We'll just increase <laughs> them by five points each. And I, this list, this, this it's still is. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I also think that's an, uh, one of the one of the things that's a problem with uh, with the fire spray, the double fire sprays, just in general. Uh, I mean, like it's been good since literally the beginning of first uh, second edition. And so many people have been playing it since the beginning of second edition that they're just at the, at this point, it's just like second nature for some players. Mm -hmm. Well, but there's also different versions, right? Like there's the uh, there's a slave one version, right? Uh, for scum, where it's it's different. I don't want to say it's easier, but you have the tool of being able to adjust your dial afterwards. But even that that was really cheap for a really long time. So, yeah, it is. Uh, it's tough for sure. What What do you think about? I mean, I mean, we we've seen that the uh, taking the crew away from Boba helped out a lot in in toning down his power level. Is that something that you think should happen to maybe all the fire sprays? Could you repeat that? I'm I'm sorry, I missed the beginning of your your sentence. How we've seen that taking away the crew slot from Boba Fett in the in the scum has toned down a lot of his power. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's something that should maybe should happen to all these fire sprays? Maybe only only the generics mm. get to have crew. That's an interesting. Qu I mean, it it hurts the fluff for sure, right? The thematic quality does end yeah. up going down just a little bit. Mm. You know, everybody I mean, you, like Jango, isn't uh, Django and Boba. Uh, their new versions aren't they both gunners though, not crew? 
What do you mean? Uh, because the pack comes with uh, like Boba Crew and the yeah. Slave One title that you could still equip uh, father and son on the same ship. Yeah, so if you go Django and then put Slave One, uh, Slave One title, uh, you can still put Boba Fett Gunner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jang Django does have his own crew. Well, you put Django on him. A different thing, but yeah. Uh, I'm in on it. I don't think they should have the illicit yeah. slots either. But that's that's <laughs> just me. It seems thematic, so yeah. Okay, and that's the problem. You're that hill I want to die on. You're, yeah, you're taking away too many thematic points, and I understand. Like the the fire spray is like a, a classic, iconic Star Wars ship. I understand, but like, it this still is a competitive game where you have to make balanced decisions, and I think they made a good decision with Boba Fett dropping that crew. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to the, I those know. are the levers you have, right? Your levers are remove yeah. slots or raise points or both. Yeah, because the, the I mean, we've seen a couple of erratas now uh, with the errata and clarifications, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe some. Maybe if they were uh, to tone down some of, um, like, like we, people talked about adding a charge system to Boba Fett pilot. Mm -hmm. So stuff like that. I mean, we uh, we can certainly uh, all agree that uh, they are uh, good ships, but. It's not that they're auto win. Uh, right. the, our player here has has done everything. Uh, Ethan Williams has done everything he needed to uh, to maximize all of his upgrades and every strategy he possibly can, uh, and that's going to push him. Uh, has at least pushed him into the top four. Not counting Connor Holmes out yet, mm -hmm. um, but he's got quite the hill to climb uh, to take down. What is he at? He needs the rest of Django and... No, even if he gets all of Django, he still has to get half of Zam. Okay. Well, all right. That makes sense. I mean, you figure you're going to lose a Baron while doing that, so... Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? That's so a, that's he, a tough here, order. Here's an idea. What if... So, Missing Link 91 throws out this idea. What if they introduced a ship chassis limitation? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on board. Was, yep. I was thinking yep. about that, but, but I don't know how to easily implement it into the carts. It would just have to be... It'd be in the squad builder. I mean, you have to build your yeah, squad digitally squad anyway, builder. right? Yeah. You have to build it digitally anyway. So, you know, uh, fire spray, limit one. I yeah. mean, I'm, I mean, not I'm really, Dylan. We could, yeah. we could print out the PDFs, you know? True. Take a couple of handwritten notes about our squads, I guess. Uh, but yeah, unlikely. Yep. And no, you mean, I, I, and you can I, also I, put I'm it on. With you, missing link. <laughs> what else would you want to put it on, Dion? I mean, you would just put it on the PDF, wouldn't you? Like, I mean, you would have to make a decision for if you're going to do that for one ship, you got to do it for all. All right. So, like, yeah, Tie Fighters it because it's thematic, you let it be eight, right? But or you, you could let it be, you could let it be six, you know. Oh, so, or is it six the limit? I'm sorry, I said eight. Oh, no, it's, it's two, it's two days. Yeah. yeah, but you could say six for that. Hmm, interesting. So, like, most squads would just have uh, eight, or most say, chassis would, mo would yeah. have eight in their chip maximum availability, just because why not? Um, but then there'd yeah, it'd be a couple ones that are like one per list mm -hmm. or so. All right, here's some shots. And it looks like that Tracer is going to be hitting. Set up some target locks on the Django. You got him caught in the corner right now. He said he got the bullseye this time at least. <laughs> Hit crit. Sorry, uh, two hits. We're rolling. One hit, two focuses. Could avoid the damage by spending the focus. Or is she going to take the damage? 
Risky business. I know it feels bad to convert. Ooh. Oh, he's going to use the force. Got it. All right. Next shot, two hits. And it looks like one's going to go through there. So that is half point scored on Django Fett, 102 to 51. Connor's got some points on the board. Yeah, quick uh, uh, game update. Marcel has won his game mm. going to the finals. Marcel Manzano heading to the final of the Lamu. Dace bone arm. With Dace bone arm, correct. <laughs> I know in the in the bracket game there were some people who picked Marcel to win. So it is uh it's gonna be a close one. <laughs> Please let Dace tell win a tournament. I mean that's on Marcel. Yeah, so there were two people that click uh that picked Marcel as the winner. Mm-hmm. And uh Connor Holmes. Let's see. Don't see any. Oh, there's one pick for Connor Holmes. Okay. Well, right now, our people who played our bracket challenge again. I know not everybody knew about it. It was kind of uh, something we kept on the DL as a as a beta test. But it seems like those of you who are are playing, uh, you know, having some good time. Anybody know their score right now? Again, if you got a top 16 matchup correct, you get 10 points. Top 8 matchup, you get 20 points. Top 4 matchup, which is now, you will get uh, 30 points. And if you get the final right, it is 40 points. Add them all up, that's your score. DeSoul said, my bracket score is real bad. All right. <laughs> oh man someone has a really good bracket who's that it's gonna be sith holocron in discord he has marcel and connor going up against it in the final okay and he has this game pegged too connor and ethan oh let's let's see yeah, the game's not over yet. No, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, at least he has this matchup up mm -hmm. to this point. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. But Con Connor's not in the finals. Oh, no, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying this is, this is clinched at all. This is definitely still a game. I mean... He's still, he's still packing a five-die gun. And yeah. He has pretty, pretty much a guaranteed block here with red, setting up that mm -hmm. bracket on orange. Yeah, I don't think you can block Django off the board, which would be awesome. No, mm. <laughs> no. I, I'm a, I've perfected the art of blocking fire sprays off the board. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> oh, oh no. Tauntaun Squadron in the in the Twitch chat is Sith Holocron. I said it's because I'm great at predictions. <laughs> <laughs> I think a boost doesn't put... Oh, a barrel roll. Okay. You know what, though? Even if you can't win, sometimes you fight for honor, right? Everybody has their... Uh, what's the word? Their modus operandi. Some would scoop and say, all right, this game is done. Others want to fight it out. And that's all right. Live your truth, man. Live your truth. <laughs> probably probably see oh we've seen a bear roll here so the players will have an optional break after after this game whoever ends up getting into the final um obviously marcel will be taking a break you know right now as he waits this for the next part of the game uh, but as we hang out and wait for our final or sorry for our top four game to finish and then we head to our final 
want to remind you guys that our next event for the Galactic Championship Series is happening Ooh. July 17th. And here we go. We got a talent roll for Django. I was almost going to suggest that he barrel rolled orange in case he one banked and boosted away. Mm -hmm. uh, it, and that would have been a uh, a sweet shot. Lined up perfectly. Yep, yeah. lined up bullseye. But yeah, Dagobah is happening July 17th. It is the double, uh, Dublin, Ireland time zone event. Of course, anybody can play. But uh, looking forward to it. Here we go. Range one. Four dice. Django only gets one on that roll. I don't see a target lock out there right now, so might end up standing. Possibly thinking about using the force at this point. That's, that'd be pretty aggressive. Going to hold it. Uh, sorry, going to spend and go to two. Spends and no damage there. One hit. Reroll, hit, hit, crit. And you're going to get a single shield off of that one. Oh, that's not so bad. Uh, now, can these Tracer V1s put through any damage onto Django here? All right. Doesn't one get hit, it. One evade. That seems familiar. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. There's a three dice shot, though. <laughs> one hit. She's got the lock. Everybody's got locks. There we go. Two crits and a hit. And two are going through. That's hit crit. Going to be landing on Django Fett. And the crit is a wounded pilot. What was the other one? Were they both wounded? A fuel leak. Oh, fuel leak. Sorry, missed the other one. Fuel leak on there as well. Leaving Django at three. Yes, three hole because of the hole upgrade. Ooh. Look at this. Arc from Orange gets it. Hit, hit, crit. Oh, Another nice. good Whoa. shot. Watch out, Django. Oh, hey, gone. Django's gone. <laughs> Django taken off the board. But the score right now, 102 to 101. This is why you don't stop playing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Now he only needs to do five more damage. <laughs> you got five. 11 minutes to do it. You know what, though? These guys yeah, got prockets. Right? They got One prockets. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 wait. One of them. Arc turned around, though. One of them has prockets. Oh. Only orange. Oh. Because Orange. the ones left alive are um, are the tracers. Yep. Yep. Uh, you better talent roll and do it quickly. Start get how many bombs does Zam have? Just one. Yeah. One thermal left. Uh, how many points? You could lose a whole uh, Baron as long as you half Django. Is that right? Or half, half Zam. Uh, Zam? Yes. So if he has them, he'd get 44 points. Yeah. If he loses another half. No, yeah, even if he lost two halves, he'd still win it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you could lose a whole ship. You could trade yeah. one. Easy. Just don't trade your pocket. No, no, don't. <laughs> At least not until after it gets the pocket off. Pocket off first, and right. then it can go die if it wants to. There you go. He's Taking the evade, moving fast now. Uh, that that death shot really put a spark underneath of uh, his dials there. Connor Getting... Holmes trying to yeah, stepping on the gas, trying to get things moving. Oh, yeah, Zam, Zam, 
needs to leave. Goodbye. You're going to lock and try to get a half points before you go? Yeah. All right, might as well. Nobody's shooting at you. There's no more, there's no more, uh, Dooku. And no more force crew either. Right. Here we go. Two hits. Spend the lock for two. See what we get all together. No. All right. You got four there. That's going to hurt. Spend. Take two on yellow. That's going to leave it down to one. All right. That was a quick round. Mm-hmm. Going to keep it moving. So the three hard. Hmm. Yeah, there is a thermal coming. I could only imagine here. Yeah. So they're going to have to start moving quick. Do you think in three hard from orange? And yellow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got to get those sense. arcs around. Makes sense. And then a three bank from red. It also gives you space away from the thermal detonators. Yeah, you don't you don't care about taking the thermal on red, though. Red still has some tracers as well, right? It set yeah. up a double modified proton rocket. Yeah. If, Red is uh, the only tracer left. Yep. I like it. I like it. And remember, those tracer missiles do not give a range bonus. So it's all right that you can fire it from range three. You'll still be doing a three on two attack and possibly setting up the target lock for the other TIE V1s. No bombs. Mm -mm. No drop. And there's the first right three. And there's a second. Taking a barrel roll. Trying to get in the way. Going to go ahead and link it to a focus. <laughs> what are you giggling about there, James? No, he's, he's like, and I butt myself. Oh, I didn't. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, always enjoyed the, 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 oh, it fits moments. I'm like, well, I guess uh, I'll take an action. Yeah, I did that, did that on purpose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Examine that bullseye. Do you got to go? No, no, no bullseye. You're no. safe. You're safe. You're in all three arcs, but you're safe from the procket. Man, Ethan, Ethan not landing in mm. any of these bullseyes when it has mattered has been yeah. crazy. Or if he did, uh, he just, just killed the ship. Just, or just killed the ship <laughs> or boost out of it. Right. Or both, yeah. He's done a great job. We got six minutes left on the clock. Two competitors will face off to see who gets crowned the Lemu Qualifier Champion. Other qualifiers include Dagobah, July 17th. Oh, here we go. Are we moving? We're moving. Boosted. All right, we got the boost. Ooh, he's still in all three, though. So it might be able to lose some shields this turn if Connor gets lucky. One hell le health left. Well, there you go. Clearing that ship off the table what means yeah. one ship less firing at you. Here's the three dice. Oh, and you got hit, hit, crit. Wow. Wow. Uh, and <sighs> that ship dies. Guaranteed. With, uh, the double blanks. Guaranteed. Uh, technically, he can still, he can still get it, right? Oh, uh, if, yeah, if, have, if we get the yeah, half, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah as long as orange it. doesn't lose the shield, right? If orange loses the shield, it's oh. it's too many points. The tracer missile did not hit, so no target yeah, lock set up the there. Too many. He can't lose three halves, yeah. 
Uh, two shields down. Okay. Little by little. Uh, three more? Three more damage? Uh, two more. What about that whole upgrade? Oh, sorry, oh, he sorry, forgot sorry, about sorry. discipline. Two more damage on to Zam, yeah. He forgot about discipline, guys. No, no, he, did, no he, did he, he acquired the, the oh, lock. Oh, he got the lock. For, he got the lock. Okay. Yeah. He acquired the lock. I he didn't why, have why space didn't see to that, bear roll. That if, giant... he had, if he would have bear rolled into the oh. rocket, oh, <laughs> genius. But it, no, it's not enough space. The chef's kiss, moi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's what uh, that's what we haven't really seen it be uh, utilized, unfortunately. But the discipline with the barons, being able to give them the barrel linked into focus, mm -hmm. uh, is super strong. That they can fly up and evade, and if they if their friend dies, they can still get uh, some additional modifiers there. They can make you real sad. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, also, like, oh, it's arced out to your bullseye, let's shoot this guy, haha, <laughs> now he's dead. And they're like, well. Oh, we forgot about Zam there, but she did recover two charges, so she is up yet. She's uh, up and dropping the last thermal. There it is. I mean, yeah, you're being chased. Man, this orange Ty V1 willing to take it. Say, I just need a shot, baby, I just need a shot. But honestly, with the angle on that one, doesn't seem great. Doesn't seem like you're going to be able to get that. No, I'm surprised he turned. Uh, I figure Zam's going to three bank boost. That's what I was thinking as well. Could have just been even. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it could have been like a 4K, I guess. Mm -hmm. Really throw, really throw off your opponent. But I don't think he needs to do anything. Just fire your luck. School of Fire Spray says pew pew. Why? Is he really not going to boost? He's going to. Well, he might be able to pick the shield off of orange. They just confirmed the win. True that. That would I lock mean, the it thermal up. Could... That's the the thermal could you're right. That. The thermal could lock it up as well. You just boost. All right. Playing the violins out there. Choosing <laughs> violence. And there's a thermal going off. You get one roll. Strain. Going to be easier to take that last shield. Is an arc. Just barely. And not a great roll. One I mean, you spend it. blank, two focuses. You have a focus token. And I'm sure they don't know the math as accurately as we do. He, 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 actually, he actually does know the math. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, <laughs> he's like, yeah, if I, if I just half this guy, I, I win. All yeah, right. pretty much. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. I guess you have. Yeah, but if he takes two damage here from this orange... Three damage, right? Yeah, it'd be six of eleven. Does it have a hold upgrade? Yeah, six. Yes. Ooh, oh, the natty's disrespect! Wow. Oh. There's. You're telling me there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> uh, you got the lock. Just have a lock here. Yep. Needs... The only mod in the whole pool. Yeah. Oh nope. Oh, but you need six. You can't get it with two dice. Without crits. I mean, there is a minute left. No. Nope. Well. All right. Car. Unlikely now. And uh, that looks like you better mean attack. business. Yeah, and that will be the rest of the time on the clock, too. Confirm the wind. Two hits and a focus. And here's the roll. One evade, no focus, but does end up plinking off that last shield. And that's going to lock up that game. 150 
to 101. I guess, sorry, technically there's five seconds on their clock still. So. Oh, is that dial still? Yep. Uh, you want them to continue or stop? Let, let, let them play it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. They still yeah, have time. They, they still have time on their clock. So. Yeah, they're, uh, they're they're literally the only game being played right now. So. Yeah. But... If they yep. if they think they had time on the clock, might as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but I think this one's pretty well in the books. Yeah. Focus. <laughs> it looks like a shield accidentally got regen. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Just let it. No, I fixed it. One shield is correct. One shield is correct. Yeah, because he, he didn't do any damage on that attack. Yeah. The previous one. Oh. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. A reinforce... Classic. Boom. There it is. Pew pews. Here we go. Nothing there. One. Oh my Ooh, goodness! Ooh, two of eights! Uh, craziness. Yeah, the uh, the reinforce is actually a really smart call here because uh, one attack could only knock off the shield, and which means the, then the other attack, if it's not range one, would only be able to do a single crit, which mm -hmm. wouldn't start a crit chain. Then, uh, without the reinforce, you could be like double blanked and uh, um, have start a crit chain. You know. Hull breach into fuel leak, or was it full breach into direct into direct or something like that? Yep. Well, congratulations to Ethan Williams heading to the final of the Lamu Galactic Championship qualifier. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.